Hi, and welcome back to my video series. In this episode of Kaya Genius, I will be answering your questions concerning residual host cell DNA quantification with nanoplate DPCR. Surely you wonder how DPCR technology can be utilized to quantify residual host cell DNA in your biopharmaceutical products. Did you know that residual DNA has implications for the efficacy of your final product and patient safety? Let's have a look at the first question. Question 1. What are the specific benefits of using digital PCR for residual DNA quantification? Digital PCR has been shown in many biomanufacturing applications and publications to have high precision, reproducibility and accuracy compared to real-time PCR when looking for a low abundant target in complex bioprocess intermediates. And don't forget, you get absolute counts. Question 2. Can I work with challenging samples? Yes, absolutely. You can work with samples purified from different matrices or samples containing highly fragmented DNA. DPCR provides accurate residual DNA quantification results even in the presence of PCR contaminants and other inhibitory reagents in your samples. I found this question very interesting. Question 3. Can I use unextracted DNA samples? Yes, all three Kayacuity residual DNA quant kits for CHO, E. coli and HEC-293 can be used on unextracted DNA samples. This eliminates the need for purification and saves you resources. Was that helpful? Thanks for watching! I will be back next time with another interesting topic, so stay tuned! Kyogen. Sample to Insight